Are you ready? May 17 to July 5 Sunday, this 16 year old dog had an armpit wound some weeks ago and uh, the vet could not stitch it up because this area is hard to stitch. So the vet put the gauze and then bandage, bandage up tightly so, so that the owner is supposed to change bandage every three days. But uh, as you can see, the owner didn't, didn't go back for changing a bandage. Now, according to the vet, the injection given antibiotic can last two weeks. But uh, it was very smelly when the dog came and uh, the wound was, was reddish. But there was strong smell and there was a green uh, discharge. So this could be due to bacterial infection, maybe pseudomonas or step. Yeah. So now the things we I tranquilize the dog, which actually has the testicular tumor. So this is a 16 year old dog, and uh, because he was very p nervous and painful, so I need to tranquilize him. Domito plus ketamine 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 IV. Uh, so you can see the dog is now quite peaceful and then bathe the dog and uh, ensure the wound is uh, irrigated and rinse off. Now actually in the first place this armpit wound could have been uh, probably could have been stitched up. Now to do stitch up this armpit wound there should be a Z Z plus T, pull up the leg and see, hold the leg, open up here, extension, and probably open below, the extension here, so it's a Z plus T, Z plus T, the relief, the tension, so Z plus T, then, uh, so there will be less tension on it, but it might not work, so the other way is, open another wound here, uh, cut here, and stitch up, the wound here, so this one you don't, you don't stitch up, leave it open to close by granulation, so the skin goes to here, and uh, this part is important because it's armpit, so we painkillers, and uh, and uh, e collars, so it's likely, I won't say it will, that the, the this part will heal, and uh, as it is, the vet decides to treat it with with uh, just bandaging. And uh, you can see that this bandage caused the, the leg to be, to be swollen, elbow swollen. You can see these are the bandage being too tight. So the whole thing, the bandage up to here, so the whole leg is swollen. And uh, the dog feels very painful. So I don't know what painkiller is given, but uh, in such cases, the best surgery is to is to uh, try and close it up here. Yeah. So like you can see here the armpit wound. So open a, a big uh, wound here and the skin of uh, this cranial end goes to here. Goes here. So this one goes up. This there's a big defect here. A defect here. Now this defect this defect Heal by granulation is better than here because here it's very hard to heal. This is mobile. Now this defect, or maybe you could, you could uh, open the flap. A Z, a Z to close up this defect as well. So the skin goes there. The Z remove the tension here and close up here. So in, in other words, you have two stitching here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So two two rows, two rows of stitches, and. Uh, that will, be, that will be probably the the way to close up this wound. Now all these are precious sores, and I use potassium permanganate to uh, to uh, after washing to to uh, stop the bleeding and also less pain. So the owner will have to wear e collar and not not uh, cover up again. The smell was so strong. It's like rotten f flesh smell. So see the teeth. How's the teeth? 
the tip is not so bad. Mm, okay, so now we put the dot let him rest first, yeah. To be